It's very important for students to use words, written and verbal, to express the meaning in mathematical interactions. And this is especially true with equivalent fractions, a difficult topic. That's why with conceptual fractions and the free tools, one of the tools is equivalent fractions with word sentences. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set this up to help students approach a problem like two-thirds plus one-fourth. This will be about background knowledge, be about building the requisite knowledge that's going to be necessary to solve that problem. I'm going to choose the circles model and I'm going to unlink words from numbers in this instance. And I'm going to have the students start with one-third. And I'm going to say to them, I want you to make sentences that express equivalence with one-third. You can do it at the computer in the front of the room and I might have papers all set for them at their desks. So they can work in groups and pairs. So let's begin with one-third. What's the fraction one-third equivalent to? Now if the students have a full understanding, they can enter two-sixths and they can say that the denominator and the numerator of the second fraction are twice that of the first and I can have them work from left to right to bear out to prove their understanding. There's one-third. Here's twice the denominator. Look at that. It worked. There are now six equal parts and there are three equal parts in the original fraction. The numerator, twice the size, two shaded parts versus one shaded part. It works. They can see the validation, the verification of their thinking right in front of their eyes. That's a good thing. If they have misconceptions, those will be revealed as well. Let's see how that works. Again, using that circle model. This time I'll have it linked and you'll see how that works. If we say the fraction one-third is equivalent to two-fourths, well that could make sense to somebody. In their mind they're thinking we're incrementing the denominator by one and the numerator by one. It makes sense. So if you add one to the numerator and add one to the denominator, but they're going to realize they don't get the same result. That's what this tool is about. It's about making the relationship between the words and the numbers and helping students to build that critical background knowledge. You're going to use this tool then with uh, two-thirds, with one-fourth, to have the students show you how they equal twelfths and they'll be able to build that knowledge themselves so that later on, when they come to that problem, they'll have the right background knowledge.